Welcome to another in Learning Trees video series on Microsoft Business Intelligence. Today, we're going to take a look at a simple but extremely valuable tool in Microsoft Excel, the What If Data Table. In our hypothetical scenario, we're going to be focusing on gross profit. There are, of course, a number of factors that affect profit. But the one of primary interest in our analysis is parts cost. In this case, parts cost is in units of yuan renminbi, and therefore is going to be susceptible to fluctuations in the exchange rate. Now let's build a table that will show us our fluctuations in gross profit with variations in the exchange rate. We start by associating a cell with the gross profit. And then we create a sequence of different values of the exchange rate that might occur in the reasonable future. Once we create our range of exchange rates, we want to highlight a rectangle with the exchange rates in the left-hand column and the gross profit at the heading of the right-hand column. We then simply select data table from the what if analysis on the data tab. In the dialog box, we just enter the cell that supplies the exchange rate to the gross profit formula. When we click OK, Excel calculates a sequence of gross profit values that corresponds to the sequence of exchange rate values that we supplied. Now we'll clear out our data and create another data table. This one will be a two-dimensional table. A little twist here, the cell that contains the gross profit will not be over the results column, it'll be in the upper left-hand column of the rectangle. So we create the uh, list for the exchange values under the gross profit column. Once we have that list, we'll create a second list of variations in labor cost uh, as column values across the headings. Once we've done that, we will return to the dialog box just as before. Uh, this time, however, instead of specifying columns, we'll have to specify rows and columns. So we highlight the rectangular area for the data table go to the data tab, select what if data table, and fill in the corresponding values that determine the labor cost and that determine the exchange rate. Once again we'll clear out the data and this time we'll add a little twist by turning this into a simple Monte Carlo analysis. In this case, instead of hard coding a list of different values for the exchange rate, we'll use the norm inverse function in combination with Excel's random number generator to generate a list of exchange rates that follow the normal distribution. We then expect that the list of calculated gross profits will represent the likelihood of what we can expect uh, if the exchange rate follows that distribution. The formula is a little more complex here because we must also supply the expected mean for the distribution of the exchange rate as well as the variance. This can be estimated by accessing figures from a variety of different financial data sources. When we're finished, we actually have a somewhat better model for our planning because we have a set of gross profits that reflect the random fluctuations uh, in the exchange rate. So there you have the simple and easy to use data table. I'd like to thank you for joining us today and don't forget to check out www.learningtree.com or our useful blog site at blog.learningtree.com.